Alright guys, back to another episode of Octopath Traveler 2. Last episode. We just finished the route. Or we just finished basically. Oh Ag or Agnia's chapter two. So yeah. This episode. We're gonna actually try to at least you know do one, another chapter, which is all the way here, back to Wellgrove. We're gonna do Particios. It seems like we have enough level... Uh, we are seven levels behind with Particio for this, but it should be good enough here. These routes are complete. All is left is to do the... Particio has signed a contract with our industry bandit Rock. If Partisha can come up with 80 billion leaves, Rock will sell the rights to the steam engine to him. Partisha travels to Wellgrove to speak with the wealthy noble Auron, the potential financier. Is he really gonna give us 80 billion leaves? It's 80 billion! I can barely get a million, by the way. Alright, anyway. Chapter 3, Partitio. Let's go. This... We gotta fight this devil called poverty in a way. Oh, huh, so this is Wellgrove. This is where I'm supposed to find that Auron fella, richest noble in the West. Right, time to put on my best smile and charge on in. You just wait, Auron. I'm coming to find you. I heard this was the most hopping commerce hub in all the continent, but kinda quiet here, ain't it? I barely see a soul. Well, might as well check out the town while I try to find this Alron. Alright. A little bit of exploration to find this damn Alron. Elrondo. I gotta stop saying that. That sounds cringe as hell. <laughs> I wanna be sure if I'm really good geared. I wanna be very sure. Max Abris. Engagement bow. This is fine, but the 60 accuracy is very, uh, annoying, should I say. I hate it when, it, like, you get a weapon that's, like, super debuffable. It doesn't really help you in this case, in, in this game. Oh, we're- oh, man, I should've gave you. Alright, let me, uh, swap. I should have done this off screen. Let me swap. It's just so I can put equipment on, at least. much to it, sadly. Alright. Yeah, I would love to bring Cassie, but I really need to level my other party members. It's very hard to evenly level them up. Unless you really want to do a four-man team, then it'd be much easier for you guys. Alright, let's do main story stuff. Excuse me! Can I interest you in a statue made of the purest silver? It's a genuine Ores Rush article, and I've got the appraisal papers to prove it. Wow, it's beautiful. How much? Each of these is currently going at the low, low price of 500,000 leaves. 500,000? 
<laughs> I'd pass if I were you. Genuine silver? Ah, bunch of hogwash. How dare you? That's a baseless claim. Real silver's delicate. Leave it out in the sun and it blackens. It ain't sparkling or darkening, so it's probably just a bunch of scrap iron. Just who are you? Partitio, at your service. A simple traveling Cowboy merchant who hails from Ores boys. Rush. This is what real Ores Rush silver looks like. Don't forget it. I owe you one. It seems you have a wealth of knowledge at your disposal. Of course I do. Erudition is the heart and soul of commerce. Spoken like a true merchant. Please, let me treat you to a drink as a token of my thanks. How about a shot of spirits? Our town is renowned for its drink. Ooh, that sounds mighty nice. Sure. Damn these merchants. Uh, by the by, were you uh, searching for something back there? Uh, no, nothing in particular. Just a spot of treasure hunting. I stop by the stalls now and then, hoping to find one. Not that I have an eye for it. Ah, that's a worthy pastime. No one's born with an eye for value. You gotta train it. I've lived in this town for a long time, you know. Once upon a time, it was filled with happy people and fine goods. It was a lively place. Let me guess, it's everything time. changed. They're always changing, huh? I wish the only spirits that went down the hatch in our town were the drinks. Particio, why did you come here? I'm looking for someone. Goes by the name of Alrond. The Alrond? He's one of the wealthiest people in all the West. I hear he wipes his backside with silk handkerchiefs. Silk kerchiefs? <laughs> I couldn't afford to do that if I spent all my days mining silver. Think he'd be willing to sell those kerchiefs? I'd even buy them used. Ew. Ew. Look, what I'm trying to say is, he lives in a different world from the rest of us. His time's too valuable to meet with just anybody. Unless you prove your worth, you're out of luck. We're talking about this steam engine. Yeah, makes sense. Man cleans his rump with silk. Still, I wish I knew how to get in contact with him. I may know a way. But Alrond knows business like a refined palate knows foie gras. He might agree to meet with you, if you had some distinguished achievement to point to. Hmm, that's so. Select the sh achievement to report. Ship. Gramophone. Oh yeah, the the scent of commerce. And that's about the size of it. Unbelievable! A vessel from the Tropu Hopu shipyard, you say? So the last head ship right, of was, was necessary. Renowned the world over for his craft. Songs were sung about the beauty of his ships, and rumor is they sped across the waves like a swallow in flight. The richest merchants in the world begged him to build them a vessel. Yet he refused to work for anyone except those he deemed worthy. I'm in awe that you managed to convince that shipyard to furnish you with a craft. You really are a true merchant. 
I'm sure Alrond will feel the same. <laughs> Thank you kindly. I'll be sure to get in touch with him for you. Come to his estate later, and all will be made ready. You'll find it atop the hill in the northern part of town. Well then, I just hope my discerning customer bites. Time to head to Alron's estate and see if my hard work paid off. Honor, it really matters if you chose whichever one. <laughs> oh, is it that side of the town that I couldn't go to before? Oh, I think it is. We can complete a quest, yeah. Thank you kindly. Free salad, what can go wrong? Oh, this place. <laughs> Damn, this place really stands out above the area here. Might as well get this treasure chest too. Nimble mantle. What that gives me speed. You wanna fuck it, I'll take it. I'll lose a little bit of elemental defense, but it's still something. Do it then. Let's visit Arrowrond. Richest noble in the West, huh? Guess that wasn't an exaggeration. Come to think of it, I wonder how that young fella knows Arrowrond. Master Particio, I take it. Word has reached me you would huh? be coming. How did you know me? The master's study is this way. If you'd follow me. Uh, uh, thank you. This way, please. Huh. You're that fella from earlier. Funny meeting you here. Get lost or something? Let me guess, that's our... Lost? <laughs> you really are an intriguing man, Particio. Intriguing enough to win an audience with the master of this house. Welcome to my manor, Particio. 
I am none other than Alrond himself. Roll hit a big roll behind that Wait, suit. Hold on. What? Nani? You're Alrond? But who? What? Why? Don't think ill of me, Particio. I had my reasons to disguise myself as the everyman. As one of the wealthiest people on the continent, I find that most put on a false mask when speaking to me. It's much easier to judge someone's true character by how they treat you when they think you're nothing special. Oh, I see. I often tell the young master that his penchant for disguise is in poor taste, but he never listens to me. Forgive me my indulgences, Misha. You have proven yourself a cut above the common merchant, Particio. That is why I have invited you here. Now, you said you had business with me. Looking for money, I assume. Particio, are you like all the others? Come, speak your piece. You will not believe what he had to well, do for. You've got me pegged, so I'll get straight to the point. I want to buy the rights to the steam engine, and I need capital to do it. Steam engine, you say? Pursuing the latest trends, are we? I have my eye on it as well. The coming era will be an age, age of, steam, of steam, if I read the future right. Yep, it's got a lot of power and a lot of potential to make the world a better place. Problem is, the fellow who owns the rights to it ain't interested in using it for the people's benefit. I'm a merchant, that's true, but I believe there's something out there more valuable than wealth. People's happiness. I want to be in the business of trading bliss. So, I figured I'd buy up the rights to the steam engine so I could share the wealth, so to speak. An interesting proposal indeed. I assume your purchase has a price tag? Eighty billion leaves. Eighty billion? That is certainly not cheap. And yet your proposal bears consideration. B but sir uh, The steam engine will make jobs, lots of jobs for all sorts of folk. Especially for those who don't have the means to earn a living wage. If I have my way, the steam engine will help all those troubled folks make enough to feed their families. That way, the world will be a better, happier, more prosperous place. So, Alrond, what do you say? Want to invest in my dream for the future? Particio, you truly are a charismatic individual. However... My purse strings do not come undone for a smile and a song. Before I invest, I need a closer appraisal of your caliber. Caliber? Uh, do you want me to take my shirt <laughs> no, off? No, you idiot. Something? No, we're not stripping uh, here. No, please stay dressed. But if you remove something, let it be the veneer off Wellgrove. Once, this town was filled with energy and laughter. Oops. But market forces shifted, and an economic depression settled upon this once prosperous town. It was my father who put the final nail in the coffin that was Wellgrove's economy. How'd he do that? He threw money at the problem, in the hopes of turning this town's fortunes around. What do you think all the townsfolk did when he gave them hefty sums of leaves for free? Some stopped bothering to work. Others took the money and moved far away. 
All the while, our town declined. In the end, money had no power for positive change here. <sighs> so I want you to revitalize this dying town, Particio. If you can do that, I'll invest in your brighter tomorrow. However, you will not see a single leaf from me until you complete this task. Hmm. I accept your challenge. All right, then. I'll fix up your town for you, and I'll give it all I got. Good. I expect great things from you. Righto. Time to head down to the market and see what I can do. Looks like we got ourselves a job. God damn. Alright, let's do it then. Alright, let's see what we can do. We have to purchase some stuff. I don't mind because I have tons of money. Alright. Normally, when it comes to a task like this, we shouldn't be worried about our level at least. Carpets, rugs, mats. Low prices, friends. Low prices. Ugh. Whoa there. You look like you need a nap, fella. Let me see your merchandise. These are fine quality wares. Let me try honking them. I'll sell them for twice the price, guaranteed. Howdy there, miss. Have I got a deal for you. See this here carpet? It's not just any old rug. Feast your eyes on this pattern. Seem familiar? It's Timberane's own symbol. This is a high-quality, first-class national product. That's one way to market it. What's all the hubbub? Not only that, it's going for a one-time only bargain price. Miss this chance to buy and you'll regret it. Bye, bye, bye. What? Let's go. I'll take one. Me too. <laughs> Thank y'all for the patronage. Impressed? I sold those mats for twice your initial price. Y you're something else. Are you the god of commerce? God of commerce? The Falcon the traitor himself? <laughs> no. Simple fact is, no one will want to buy from a merchant who looks gloomier in a rainy day. Have confidence in the quality of your own goods, and, and the customers the will gather like flies or honey. Yeah. Wow, I feel like a whole new merchant. Huh, I've got a handle on this pickle now. These merchants lack the fiery passion needed to tug at customers' hearts and their purse strings. But get enough sparks together, and you've got yourself a good old bonfire. To lay down some tender, how about I get all the shops in one place? If I can spruce up some abandoned storefront to host them, why? Yeah, that's the ticket. This'll work for sure. Of course, I need the right marketplace to spruce. Huh? Hang on. Hey, what's that? Oh, it's that building we couldn't get into before. I was wondering about that. Excuse me! Huh, looks like this place is abandoned. Ah, 
That makes it ideal for my scheme. Righty then, time to put my refurbishing boots on. When I'm done with the place, customers will swarm in here for sure. Where you were gonna buy this this whole building? I've got all my plans settled. All that's left is to recruit the merchants. God damn! Hire three more merchants. So you're telling me after end this chapter, all the merchants are just gonna be dressed up here, and we get to like do our path actions against them? <laughs> Uh huh. Well, here goes. See, it's not that expansive. It's only a few measly gold. We're gonna have merchants filling up this whole area too. Question, who owns this building now? That's what I want to know. How about this spot, Particio? Huh. Entrance is too narrow. Let's take down this here wall. That'll fix it so customers can step on in all lively like. You got it. Oh, we're gonna be rich! The 80 billion is gonna be ours! So you plan to have all the traders gather into one centralized marketplace. A fascinating idea. In fact, it may birth a new commercial concept entirely. <laughs> I've already come up with a name. Alron's department store. The very first department store. <laughs> ah, uh, that's because why each the shop store is in its own from. department within the greater whole. You have a fine sense for naming. Don't I just, Mr. Alron, sir? Enough Rich of corpora. that. Alron will do just fine. Particio, I've heard the news. I've heard all the news. Is that Ori? Yep, scoop of ah, Ori. What hold you crawl out of, Scrivener? The scoop hole. Wherever there's a story, there's a Scrivener. The fire of hope flares anew in dilapidated commercial district. Traveling merchant Particio does it again. The flag of a new business unfurls. Corpo, we're gonna be making the Let news me again. handle the promotion for this amazing enterprise, Particio. Oh, you'd do that for me? You betcha. I have a brother, you know. He's got this line he loves bringing out. The world's filled with people groaning under the weight of a thousand problems. It's fresh ideas like yours that bring a ray of joy into troubled lives. In short, I want to help. After all, I became a Scrivener to spread good news. Not bad. <laughs> In that regard, I'm a lot like you, Particio. Ori, you're good folk, you know that? Here, this one's on the house. A pre-opening present for a fine rider. Really? Thanks! I'll be sure to bring my fanciest words to bear! <laughs> Life seems to be returning to my town. Thank you kindly, everyone. This place is looking fine and fresh because of all y'all.
There's only one issue left. Yeah, our shelves are looking melancholy and bare. So, how are we supposed to stock all the various goods to make this place a success? Ah, uh, no worries on that frontier. I'll go gather up the goods myself. Y'all see to the finishing touches while I'm out and about. You got it! Woo! Uh, what, I'm, this I'm will be a fine story makes, for sure. Is this gonna be just story itself? Or are we gonna face like a boss dungeon? I don't know. Hmm. Strange. I got the feeling I was being watched just now. Eh? Who? Uh, must have been my imagination. Someone's here? Now, on to business. Assassin? I knew it, assassin! Just gotta find... Why there's an assassin. What does a department store like ours need? I'm sure I can gather something good from the towns I've visited up till now. Right. First stop is... There. Oh, we're going back to the... Sent to Commerce areas? Hello again, Tropu Hopu! Now, what should I stock up on here? Tropu Hopu coffee is the finest in the land! You said it! I hear even the king sips a cup every morning. Oh, coffee, you don't say. We all corporate a car Rich coffee. Rich Aroma Brewing Coffee should pull in customers by the score. Righty then. Coffee beans it is for the shop's first showpiece wear. Let's go, Rich Corpa. Purchase them coffee beans, I say. May only purchase only 1,200 of these damn leaves. Thanks for the business, friend. I appreciate it. Whoa, 10% off. Next stop, Clock Bank. It'll be nice to see Floyd's smiling face again. Oh, we're going to Clock Bank. Hog. Look who it is, Morticio. Hey, how's it going? Fantastic, thanks to you. Yeah, and the sax is so good. Glad to hear it. Now, mind if I ask a question? Oh, not at all. For you, I'd be happy to field a hundred. I'm trying to find this town's specialty product. Got any leads for me? Hmm. Why not pocket watches? I didn't know there were clocks so small they fit in your pocket. There are. Perhaps you could tell by the clock tower, but our town has a close relationship with things that tick in any form. Well, that settles it then, Floyd. Our second showpiece wear will be clock bank pocket watches. Pocket watches. Woo! Trout. Oh, we got a trout banter. I could swear I've seen this scrimmer around here somewhere. I wouldn't doubt it. She always running around here and there in search of scoops. I suppose an elusive nature and sudden appearances comes with a job. Huh? Something on your mind, partner? When I became an inquisitor, I was sought out by many scriveners. They would press me for gossip, just desperate for trite and tawdry facts. I grew disgusted with them. Eventually, they even began showing up at my home in search of news. Scary. That's going too far. Indeed. In short, I do not get along with their sort. Lesson for the day. Don't mess with Scriveners.
God dang it. That stair is jabation right there. Only the price of 2,500 yen, uh, please. Right then. Time to make arrangements for my final major wear. Back to where all this began. Oars Rush. Oars Rush. <laughs> well, if it isn't my boy. Where have you been? Couldn't even send your old pops a letter? Well, of course you couldn't. Now, what brings you back? <laughs> Trade? What else, pops? I've come with a business proposal for you. A business proposal? A good one, I take it? Sure is. I'm setting up a shop that stocks the world's wares. Al Ron's Department Store is the name. I'm here to buy our finest sterling for sale on its shelves. Uh, hmm. Sounds like an interesting enterprise. You got it, son. I'll part with Ors Rush's finest silver work. Like we got ourselves another travel banter. This apartment store idea is incredible. They sell all sorts of things here, right? You betcha. The future's is department stores. Mark my words. If it were up to me, I'd build a jerky department store. Bird. Just jerky. Yeah, bird jerky, fish jerky, game jerky, monster jerky. I gather all meats from all across the continent. Sweet meats, spice meats, you name it. I guess what I'm trying to say is, leave the meat to me. Heh. <laughs> sure is that's a nice dream you got there, partner. Right? But would it be st he'd still be an apartment store if it only sells only one thing? It doesn't matter if it sells. As long as it sells, that that's the only thing that matters. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Save Pops. 340 leaves. There. I've got enough to stock all our shelves now. Time to head back to the shop and get ready to open. Yeah! Things are heating up here. Yeah, he like his cowboy accent. Unlike a certain person that I betrayed. That I got betrayed the other day, but anyway, that that's that's uh old news at this point. Time to report back to Alron and let him know the good news. <laughs> I bet his jaw dropping surprise. What when about he the hears. assassin? The assassin. I knew it. <laughs> Assassin's still here. I finally tracked you down, Particio. Yeah, that voice is familiar. Alright then. All we gotta do is just head back to Alron. And we should be good to go. Good business. Huh, <sighs> what's this now? What the fuck? What's going on? Fog? Fog. Weather's all wrong for a fog bank to roll on through. Oh there. Alron's manor's gone white as a ghost. What in tarnation's going on?
Venture into the mist. Oh, don't, no, 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 don't tell me. It's a steam. It's not fog, it's steam. Uh oh. I don't like, I don't like the looks of this boy, anyhow. Ah, oh, it's even misty inside. Uh, this fog, it ain't right. Dang, fog's everywhere. Master Particio. Uh, you all right? Stay with me, fella. A um, man. He appeared out of the mist with a strange device. He... He attacked me. That's rotten. Where'd he go? To... Master Alron's room. I failed him. I should have stopped the intruder. Porticio, please. You leave it to me. Oh, I'll God. deal with that suspicious The snake. assassin. Who is it? Hold on, Alron. I'm coming. Can I get a save? Can I save? At all? No? Fuck, I need a save, though! I need to save the game! Because something is something bad's gonna go wrong, because if I don't save the game, we are in a bit of uh, trouble here. For fuck's sake, I, I guess I guess we ain't skipping no damn do skipping no damn uh, problem here. But the problem is not getting a safe. I swear, if there's a save point in Alron's room, I'll, I'll fucking like lose it right now. <laughs> Y'all better not put a save point in damn Alron's room. I'll get very pissed off for some odd reason, and you don't want it to be like that, don't you? All right, boys. What the? It's you can't see. Uh, Alron. Particio, stay back. Assassin. There's something hiding in this fog. Uh, there, there is. It's too dangerous. Leave me. Run. Sorry, Alron. I can't do that. I never turn my back when there's an enemy lurking about. Still, it's hot as high noon here. Oh, this mist. I could swear I've seen its lack before. It's the steam engine. I, I got it. This ain't mist nor fog. It's steam. But why is there steam in here? Where is the steam? Nani? Oh ho ho! Some varmint sneaking using around steam using the steam to hide, to hide eh? I don't know who or what you are, but didn't your parents teach you any manners? I don't care if you're some sort of fog monster or what. I'm ready to fight. Come on! Little devil. Oh my god. There's an actual steam engine. You cannot see through the fog. Target through the fog. Ready? Ah, fucking A. Alright, boys, we got ourselves a situation here. As we got ourselves to get rid of this damn old steam engine. Oh wait, I can't Oh, I have to attack that? Well, that's, uh, unfortunate. Watch me! Darkness descend! Oh, he dodges, too. What to do? Here goes! 
It's your ship now, friend. Very well. Come, little lamb. Let me reinforce. Is he, buff Is he buffing himself? The hunt awaits. That's all. Okay. Queen time. I'm gonna use leg trap on this annoying thing. Things are about to get <laughs> this isn't Oh my ideal. god, I can't see! Oh, what the? Hold your horses! Well, this is annoying. But well, this is gonna be very annoying, I'd say. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, be healed. Mahina! <laughs> Got it! Got fire? Sorry about that. <sighs> Whoa, stop playing hide and seek! Stop playing hide and seek. Ah! Fuck me. I'm hit! What are these damn debuffs? They so annoying, boys. Okay, you you're weak to fire. Flames burn bright. Very well. Can you stop missing your damage? Uh, be healed. Thank you kindly, Temenos. Here goes. Uh, <laughs> all set. Sorry, but I need a rocket to punch up. What? Here goes. What? You can't do that. Don't under it. Stop playing hide and seek. I'm starving. That's my cookie. Fuck lifted. You're good. Oh, Thurston. Wait, isn't that the guy from Chapter Two? Wait, wait. I know you. You're Mr. Rock's employee. <laughs> name of, uh... He doesn't remember the name! My name's Thurston, you twit! Who? I I don't remember no Thurston. You're as infuriating as ever, you idealistic bumpkin! Because of oh. you, I... I... I was fired! Whoa. Rock gave me the axe! Me! What do you mean you got fired? This has nothing to do with me. You got fired of your own volition. Huh? He did? You ruined my life, Particio. So I'll kill you and put a stop to your pathetic little business deal with Alrond. I don't know what I did to you, but like, damn. That will get me back in Rock's good graces. It has to. I don't get what's got your britches in a twist, <laughs> but I've never turned down a bra. A word of warning, I never hold back in a fight, neither. What the? This guy's strong. Who is this guy? Where was I? Be here. 
I hate the blindness in this fight. It's very annoying. Let's go. All right, we're gonna find out Thurston's weakness. So I I say the hunt it wait. has to be something we already know. Cleaning time. Swords, okay. Dick. Why does this guy hurt? Particio! You shouldn't hurt that much. Come, little lamb. Uh-oh. It's your shift now, friend. Where was I? Be here. Summoners. Okay. Here we go. Sorry, but I need a rapid We're gonna do as much damage as we can. I owe you for sure. Ready? And we're gonna use our double turn. Bring it on! So well. Maybe I'll save it. Yeah, I'll save it. I'm investing in it! Alright, we're gonna summon one of my favorite youth <laughs> new character the new enemies, Terra! Terra! Ten K boys, let's go. Whew. Very <laughs> repent! Uh, I'm gonna use element for Meh. I don't have a buff on me, that's why. That's why it doesn't seem strong. Ready? Playtime's over. Watch me. You're open. Alright, this is gonna hurt. My kids are but Ooh, I won't hurt attack. back. Heavy footed, aren't you? Yeah. I don't know the meaning of the word mercy. Oh, that that is a new phrase. Arrow of force. Meh. Well, it's a this da damage. <laughs> new and improved. Another steam engine? Fucking A. <laughs> Fuck. Another damn no steam shit. engine. <laughs> Fuck, I can't target. Fuck! Oh well. Uh, well, this, this is a pain in the ass. I'm investing in it. I owe you. Out. Hmm. Oh, this is a this is a bit of a doozy right now. Things are about to get sticky. Ready? Watch me. Alright, here's hoping you actually don't kill thing. Do that much damage. There! Hey, we can sword. That's good. <laughs> this isn't good. Be here.
force my hand. Here what does we that go. mean? I don't understand. The hunt awaits! I'm back! What to do? <laughs> oh dear. Say your prayers! Prepare your prayers. Fuck! What do you mean it only Here attacks goes. three people? Two people. Ah. You bunch of you guys are useless. Useless, I say. It's your shift now, friend. <laughs> Ow. Three turn six. Oh my god. Here we go. Fucking A. I'm kinda lost right now. Come on then! Start it. Okay, good. I was just relying on luck. Sorry about that. Ready? But I won't hold back. Eat this. Throne I don't know the meaning of the word mercy. Arrow of fortune. What? Not dead. Who is the sky? I mean, it's not dead. Very well. Be healed. Thanks. Let's go. Huh? I'm starving. Go on then. Fuck. Ready? Watch me! You're too kind. Cleaning time. You're too kind. More grit than I can handle. Oh, Be here. Thanks. I need a lead to get more loose. I swear that that attack stupidly hurts. Not bad. For no reason, though. <laughs> Perfect, Throne. Fucking a. I don't have any buffs. Just in case. Yeah, that was a tough one. Stupid steam machine was a big old distraction. I. I've been 
foiled. You don't feel a lick of remorse for what you've done, do you? Listen, the reason Mr. Rock gave you the boot was because you were playing dirty. No. No. But I'm a forgiving sort, so let me give you a chance to set matters right. You're hired, fella, if you want the job. We're gonna hire the person that we Excuse that me? tried to kill us? Of course, I gotta kick that offer down the line a bit. I don't have the funds to pay you yet. But, once I buy the rights to the steam engine from Mr. Rock, you've got a place working for me. What a joke. You don't really believe you can produce 80 billion, do you? That's why we came to our on the first place. Who knows for sure? Still, I believe I can do it. In the end, a person can't achieve nothing unless they got faith in themselves. <sighs> You're a man of unnatural tenacity. That's a talent. You'd make a good worker for sure. Just you wait a little while, Thurston. I promise the day will come when I can give you a job. I... I admit defeat. You have a risk-friendly approach to life, don't you? I don't doubt you'd hire anyone off the street, no matter their credentials or background. <laughs> Everyone's got a job they're suited for. Only problem's figuring out what that is. Oh, by the by, I came to let you know how the store's doing. Oh? I've been eagerly awaiting news. How's business? <laughs> Try to keep your socks on, but... We have made a big old department store called Walmart. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> But it truly is. Feast your eyes on this! A genuine clock bank pocket watch! As part of our opening sale, we're offering two for the price of one. Act now, they're going fast. I'll take one! Oh, me too! Me too! Ugh, this deal's gonna bankrupt me. But what the heck? Go on and take it, you thieves. Oh. My. This energy, this verve. Wellgrove has returned to the hustle and bustle of better days. What magic did you work to achieve this partitio? <laughs> simple. First magic spell was a simple policy. Sell high quality goods on the cheap. <laughs> By centralizing the destination for our suppliers, uh, that's this place. We simplify logistics and we enable them low transportation on maps. Yes, that's how that the lowers the cost of said transport, meaning we can sell better goods for cheaper. Spell number two, this department store itself. The convenience of having all these goods in one place means people stop by loads of stores and buy more, more more. In short, we built the place so lots of folks can and want to shop here. It's bound to make it livelier than a rodeo. These two simple ideas are what's generating all that energy. <laughs> that and a dash of passion. I wish my father could have been here to see this. Thank you, Particio. This more than proves your worth. As promised, here is my end of the bargain. 80 billion leaves. Wait, are we gonna get in actually all in cash or uh, like a what, check what's or this little contract? Thing? A check? A Ooh. promissory note that you can exchange for legal tender? I figured it would be rather hard to carry around 80 billion in coin. Oh, good point. 
guess. Hmm? If you are dissatisfied, I can throw some silk into the bargain. Uh, no, no, I, I trust you at your word, Alron. Oh, right. We should draw up a contract for this loan. Promise that I'll pay you back. Not necessary. You've already given me a down payment. But that's just my calling card. A single silver leaf. Indubitably. This is a symbol. A promise that no mere paper can equal. Alron. <sighs> Alrighty then. Time to swing on over to Mr. Rock's place and buy up that steam engine. The question is where... If I may ask, do you really intend to sign a deal with Rock? I do not expect a businessman of his caliber to simply hand over the steam engine willingly. Huh. A word of warning. Do not... Trust that man, Particio. You would do well to ponder how he will react to your proposal and plan accordingly. Uh, thanks for the warning, Alron. Much appreciated. P Particio, hello there. Uh, Ori again? Yeah, Ori. Oh, seriously, where do you keep coming from? Not important. Have I got a scoop for you! Magnate Rock has released a proclamation! Proclamation? Where? A big announcement is coming regarding the steam engine! Oh. Massive, earth-shaking! Steam engine news? Oh no! Uh, suspicious timing. Wonder what he's up to. Huh. Hope he didn't get tired of waiting for me and made some wild play while I was out beating the bushes. Yeah, might as well head on over and see what all the fuss is about. The question is, where did he... is he back Wait at his sec. own factory? Does that mean you've collected the dough? <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Big scoops are falling from the sky today! Wait until my brother hears about this. It's just like Grace Lynn of Crossroads. I believed in you from the start, Particio. Hey, don't leave! It wasn't finished yet. The proclamation will be made on Rock's very own private island. Rock Island! Rock Island? He has it's his own private island? private property, so there are no ferries. We need a ship to get there. Oh, thank God we had some funds for that. <laughs> well, I already got my own vessel. It's a fine vessel, too. Purchased fair and square from Terra. Cause we did the scent of commerce. Hell yeah. Traveling merchant Particio makes cool 80 billion. Particio continues to amaze with a challenge from the rock company at hand. He opened negotiations with fabulously wealthy noble Alron. Moved by the merchant's passion, Alron has agreed to act as financier. Will this desperate gamble to prevent the monopolization of the steam engine work? Read our next issue to find out. You're done. Chapter 3. We're gonna be rich. We have 80 billion rich. Well, we have a check for 80 billion, not the cash. Travel banter. Hey, Partitio. Can I see that promissory note of yours? Yeah, sure. I bet it's more money than you would ever lay eyes upon. Tada, 80 billion. It's got heft, huh? Interesting. It's actually quite light. Yeah, well, take it to the bank and give them the secret password and you got the big old pile of leaves. It's a secret password. You never guess, but it's... Let me stop you right there. Huh? This scrap of paper will be picked from your pockets in an instant if you're that careless. Until you spent it, you need to be on your guard. Cause throwing aid is a thief. Oh yeah, I sure almost blabbed about it, huh? I'll be careful, promise. Hey, uh, sorry for the trouble, but mind holding onto that there thing for me? Even though you're a goddamn thief? 
I can't think of anyone else I'd rather trust to keep it safe other than you, even though you are a thief that steals stuff. <laughs> Very well. Because you know, I'm you're the main character of your journey. That has nothing to do with it anyway. Alright, we got the bounty. Alright though. We even got ourselves a big old check. Well, we don't actually have money yet. But we actually got ourselves a big old place. You're telling me a rock island. It's an actual island. It, you gotta be kidding me. It's all the way, That's the island. It's all the way there. Well, we're gonna have to go there at some point, but anyway. Oh, great. I got four things, but I'm not- Okay, I don't want to voice act all of them, or else I'm gonna- We're gonna be here forever. Peaches. A to G, caress? What the fuck? I don't- I don't- uh, What is he trying to say? <laughs> what the fuck was Agni thinking? Of course it's about peaches. Nothing, no anything like dirty or anything like that. The, the enemy called poverty is dastard. Two more. Casty and him. Kari. He's an odd one. <laughs> uh. Okay, and then the last one is Akari. Then we can finally stop this episode. The King of the Castle.
Alright, anyway. I, like, I actually really like his story. It's so relatable. Because it, it, it relates to the stuff that happens IRL. How the train started. Back then. Yes, I know that steam engines produce trains. Yeah, I know that. Sure, because it's the Industrial Revolution. The merchants were technically the cause of that. They were able to ship from one thing to another and then like... All of a sudden they started building theirs and like blah blah blah. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that story for now. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Bok the Path Traveler 2. Next time we're gonna try to do more, I guess. I'll see you guys all next time.